Hello, this video. Hello, this video is to show you how to use the arrow vein jig to fletch the four fletch using the Tech 15 arrow. I'm going to bring the arrow vein jig close. At the back of the jig, there is four indexes, and the index we show with 0, 120, 180, and 240. Using these three indexes and capability of the arrow vein jig, which is this line right here, is very critical. To start the project, we need a small bottle of acetone which you can obtain in Walmart. I recommend some Q-tips, the Aerovane Glue AG0600, and for this demonstration we're going to use three different colors of Aerovane. Two orange, one white, and one black. The reason I picked this color will be shown very easily. First we start with, we secure the Tech 15 arrow into the Aerovane chuck, and then we'll start at zero. I would prefer using the indexes correctly, now at zero. Now we're going to flush the first vein. I'm going to use the orange as my first vein. I usually put it just underneath the wood K, which will give you around one inch, one and a half, about one inch from the back. The first thing to do with is I already cleaned the pre cleaned the shaft with the acetone, so we know the shaft is perfectly clean. This was recommended. You use the acetone to clean the feet first and instantly clean it and dry it. Then you put a small amount of glue. As little as you can possibly do. Okay, first thing on. As zero marker. It takes about nine seconds for the glue to totally dry. Okay, then you open the clamp, shift at the same time. You can see the first thing is already dry. Now 120 degree, you skip it one more time and go to 180 degree. Then you again put the clamp on, put it on the marker K, which is what I use. I'll clean it with the acetone. Try it immediately using the Aerovin glue as little as possible. I'm going to put on vein number two. And you take about nine seconds. It's just to be safe, we'll take up to 12 seconds. You can see nobody's holding nothing, everything is set by itself. Now we will over the, open the clamp and rotate. Now we're going to stop at 240 degree. I'm going to use the black vein this time to show the difference at 240 degree. Again, using a kill tip, I'll clean the vein first and then instantly dry it. Now apply the glue on top as little as possible. Then my third vein. Okay, now we open the clamp, rotate. Now we have three veins in the system. We take the chuck out of the jig. We rotate the chuck until we are at 180 degree, which is exactly 180, okay? Then we put the system back using the line, which is on top, to align with the chuck until we can see both looking down from this side in until you have the line perfectly at 180. And then, since you are at 180, then you simply do a simple click. Now you're at 240 point. At 240 point, now you hold your clam. Again, put it under the character K on the Aerovin clamp, clean it with the acetone, dry it, put a tiny bit deep depth of finer Aerovin glue, and let it sit for 10 to 15 seconds just to be safe, which you usually don't need because I know the glue is actually going to 
you try for nine seconds remove it now you have it perfect you can see from the back side you can't get any better than this thank you